Hi. So I thought we I'm I'm go go ahead and make a video about guitar parts and especially hardware. Um, I've been doing some guitar repairs and guitar building for maybe the past 20 years or so. Um, I've been learning a lot of stuff by myself and uh, some stuff uh, from other people. Um, I'm still learning almost every day. Um, one thing that's for very sure is when it comes to uh, hardware, there is a lot of stuff to choose from. I mean a lot of stuff to choose from. I mean at the bottom range uh, the Chinese made stuff when it comes to tuners, uh, bridges, uh, tremolos, you know nuts and all that kind of stuff even pickups and that kind of stuff. Uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, guitar repairs over the years I mean a lot. We are talking maybe over the past 20 years, it must have been thousands of guitars that has been uh, in my hands that I've been even maybe owned by myself, repaired and sold or um, perhaps a customer that needs the guitar repaired or anything like that. A lot of these guitars have been Chinese made. Uh, Unfortunately, um, sadly, I should say, I've been working on some uh, Chinese uh, knockoff guitars. Um, I'm not very proud about that, but at the end of the day, it all comes down to a point where I gotta make my money to have food on the table. So I I don't really care. It's not my guitars. So I'm just doing the job, you know. On these uh, specific guitars, there have been a lot of hardware issues. Uh, the customer bought the guitar from China. Um, the guitar itself has been a decent guitar. Uh, well, after changing all the hardware, pickups, a complete fret leveling and a major uh, setup then it's a great guitar but um, we are talking about hundreds of dollars to make that happen so at the end of the day I don't think that was a great idea to buy that guitar after all because maybe three hundred dollars for the guitar itself um, that's including shipping and maybe after I changed it all, made a fret labeling, we are looking about maybe 300 more dollars. That's about 600 bucks and I don't think it's worth it. But um, when we are looking at other Chinese guitars, uh, brands as, you know, Squire, made by Fender in China, we are talking about very good guitars here for the price. I'm not talking about the cheapest bullet series, I'm talking about the Affinity and the Standard series. That's actually great guitars. It comes with, uh, at least the older ones uh, came with uh, decent tuners, decent pickups and uh, decent bridge and saddles. So it's a decent guitar for a cheap price. These days I'm not really sure because it's been a while since I had my hands on a new, well, a brand new Squire, so I don't really know. Uh, then we have Epiphone, uh, of course not made in America, uh, but uh, it's made overseas and uh, that's actually a great guitar too. Uh, when it comes to tuners and pickups and uh, bridge, it's a great guitar. I, I mean, I have several Epiphones hanging on my wall here. I haven't really changed anything, it just works. Well, I like EMG pickups, so I have EMGs in most of my guitars, but didn't change tuners, I didn't do anything. So that's also great stuff. When it comes to Fender made in Mexico, that's pretty much the same hardware as um, on a more expensive Squire. Let's say a Squire standard 
that's pretty much exactly the same stuff when it comes to hardware as it is on a Mexican Fender. Uh, sometimes though um, it's not. I don't know why but sometimes I have my hands on Mexican Fenders that actually seems to have a very high quality uh, product when it comes to the hardware. Different types of tuners it seems like very decent and uh, I am not really sure why that is but it just is. So and uh, of course when it comes to uh, Ibanez and you know Jackson and that kind of stuff they are all pretty decent when it comes to tuner and that kind of stuff so um, as I'm, I'm kind of a guitar tech so I have a lot of guitar parts I mean I have very much guitar parts uh, stuff that I um, stuff that I'm supposed to use for repair replacement and of course some parts that I've taken off some guitars that is as great condition as, so I can use it again I have brand new stuff I have used stuff I have stuff that I basically scrapped but I still keep it as a reference to what you should not buy so I can show the customers uh, look at this. This is how it works. Don't buy this. Don't go to. Don't go into Chinese uh, guitar part um, internet source and buy this because this is what you're going to get. So I put up some stuff here on my table. I thought we'd go ahead and take a look. And sorry for the complete mess uh, on my table here. I haven't cleaned it in a few months. I didn't have the time. I had too much work so I'm sorry about that but I had some interesting parts here I will go uh, I will uh, go through all of it and do uh, some talking so this video is not going to be very short but not very long either so let's go ahead and uh, change the camera angle and take a look what I have on my table here so this is some of the parts I got right here uh, this is actually most of these parts is nothing I'm going to use because it's crap. It's totally crap. You can't use this stuff, okay? Um, this is I have a lot more of this stuff, but this is just some of it, okay? Um, when it comes to to uh, bridges, tremolos, and uh, hardtail bridges. Uh, it seems like, I don't know why, but the Chinese people cannot make a decent bridge. I don't know why, but um, this for example, um, uh, uh, I, I, I uh, get this bridge uh, many years ago. Uh, how the hell did they think this bridge is supposed to work? Because you can see that it have multiple dual um, system here okay so I suppose the lower one is for low string action and the upper one is for high string action anyhow this bridge you with this saddle and this construction you cannot intonate the guitar it doesn't really matter how much I tried it was not possible to get the guitar in tune and intonated. Uh, this is brand new, brand spanking new. Um, I, did, I did only have to take it off the guitar and you can clearly see the paint come off immediately. You can see the paint is gone where the strings have been on the cells. So this is just some piece of crap. You can even see that it's not really a 90 degree angle here. This is just some piece of crap. Um, this bridge was actually on a, oh, I can't remember. I think it was a, a Stratocaster with a, a Fender logo on it. Well, a, a knockoff guitar, a counterfeit guitar. So this, and you can see here this, um, to get the ground going right there. Well, this, this is just crap. I keep this only as a reference on trying to talk people into not buy Chinese stuff when it comes to 
guitars and hardware because it's just crap piece of crap this is exactly this is exactly the same thing this is a uh, I don't remember I think this one was also on a uh, Chinese uh, of course a Chinese uh, Stratocaster with a Fender logo on it a country fit guitar customer came to me and said I can't tune the guitar I can't get the guitar uh, intonated uh, this is just some piece crap guitar and I said come to me with the guitar and I'll make it playable um, maybe it cost about 300 bucks or so but I promise you I will make the guitar play good and I did but first of all this bridge some piece of crap just some piece of crap I couldn't uh, I could not intonate the guitar when I take a closer look on this bridge this angle here is not 90, 90 degrees it's not 90 degrees it's exactly with this one not 90 degrees this is just some piece of crap they uh, manufacture in, in like uh, 10 minutes or so and these saddles, uh, saddles is supposed to be kind of like the, the old Fender style but it's just some piece of crap you can see clearly that it hasn't even a slot for for the strings so I could not intonate the guitar with this bridge it was not possible so uh, this is supposed to be scrapped but I keep it as well as a reference for what people will not buy uh, when it comes to tremolos okay tremolos maybe seems to be something different some people think but no it's not this is a Chinese tremolo uh, this I I'm not really sure I have a lot of these wells but but a few of those tremolos that I got right here is also from a uh, oh I've been lying to you this is not from a Stratocaster I think this is actually from a Telecaster kind of like a um, signature model I'm not really sure I think so this is actually from a uh, Stratocaster obviously as you can see this is exactly the same thing well it looks kind of decent but the saddles is a uh, totally you ca I cannot intonate the guitar with this it's not possible how doesn't matter how much I try and I try and I try I cannot get the guitar intonated it's not possible I don't know why but it must be something with the cells that make the made the guitar not possible to get intonated so this is also some piece of crap that I, I, I got from a, a customer guitar and uh, don't buy this stuff I mean it's not worth it not at all um, I've been working on a lot of telecasters uh, this is actually a, a bridge from a telecaster a customer uh, this is actually a, something I got a couple of years ago maybe five six years ago maybe um, the saddles that was on this bridge here is actually these ones it's almost exactly the same as these saddles the base plate seems kind of decent it looks decent and I can't really find anything wrong with this it could be possible to use this again if uh, I put on some new saddles these saddles are just some piece of crap it's I cannot intonate the guitar with these cells. I don't know why, but it's not possible. It's not possible. So I got some replacements here. Um, I bought these ones from uh, Ohio. Uh, no, uh, from New York. Yeah, from New York. Uh, guitar parts store there. Um, and these are actually not American made but it's uh, I think they are Japanese made is some great quality stuff right there anyway 
then on these uh, knockoff guitars you buy in China, don't buy these guitars, don't buy Chinese guitars, don't buy counterfeit guitars, don't buy knockoff guitars. Uh, this is supposed to be their EMG pickups, okay? Uh, all of these pickups I've got them from uh, from, from um, guitars I've been walk, w working on f for the past five years or so. Uh, it's been a couple of years now since I got any new ones. Well, that's a lie. Actually, two, uh, one year ago, I think, I got these ones right here. Uh, anyway, uh, I don't know which ones I got first, but I, I believe the first ones right here is maybe about four or five years ago. Uh, I believe this is one of them. Uh, first of all, this is not real EMGs. It says EMG on them, but trust me, this is not EMGs. This is just some piece of crap. You cannot make these pickups sound uh, decent. It's crap. It's totally crap. Um, the, these ones are not shielded. They are not... I, I mean, I can, I can make a rant about this for a, a day or more. This is just some piece of crap. Uh, you can actually see the logo right there. Not even the logo is right. Uh, I mean, the, the, nothing is right about this. Don't buy this crap. I mean, go to your local music store and buy some real stuff. Uh, this is crap. It sounds like shit. So, and I believe this is uh, also some of the first ones that I put my hands on. Uh, this is also a knockoff fake EMG. Uh, you can see the logo isn't right. It's actually stamped. I think it's stamped maybe about... Uh, well, I don't know, but... This is not right. Uh, the same here. This is some piece of crap. Um, you cannot make this pickup sound anything but crap. Uh, I don't know what's going on there, but clearly something going on there. This may be for showcase. Um, this could be something just to tell people don't buy this crap. This is exactly the same thing. Don't buy this because you cannot make any good sound or any good tones out of your guitar with this piece of crap in your in there. That's for sure. So, a couple of years ago, something interesting uh, came across. Uh, a customer went to to me with a Chinese knockoff guitar. Uh, I've been working a lot of these ones, and immediately I saw, oh, you already put in some EMGs in there. Because the logo is kind of right. So he said, no, I didn't. Okay, so they are getting better now. To, uh, they are getting better on the, on the logo. And the logo isn't stamped. It's printed maybe. Maybe printed on there. Anyhow, it seems kind of real. But a closer look, you can see that it's actually a gold logo. And all you guys that know EMGs, a gold logo is perhaps maybe a EMG 85. So, of course, this is just some piece of crap. It, they all look the same. Uh, I mean, they are made in the same factory. Uh, this is all looking the same. You can see... It's a couple of years in between those ones and it's exactly the same. <laughs> you can see a white little sticker on there. Uh, maybe it's exactly the same guy that have uh, put them on there and uh, even put uh, an uh, N for, for neck there. But it's a couple of years in between them. So I'm pretty sure about that. Anyway, this is just some piece of crap. Exactly the same crap as this one. So... Anyhow, uh, I get I got exactly the same thing here. This is a uh, couple of years in between. I actually think it's supposed to be like this. Okay, these two and these two. So this is exactly the same thing. Just some piece of crap. It's supposed to be an EMG eighty five. 
EMG81 right there. Just some piece of crap. You can't make any noise with this. It looks cool, yeah, it does, but it's crap. It's crap. Don't buy this. Stay away from the Chinese knockoff guitars. Just do it, okay? Promise me. Don't buy this. Okay, so enough about pickups. Well, I got so something more about pickups. When it comes to uh, great pickups, I think you perhaps maybe you should stick with the real EMGs. Suck well right there. Uh, perhaps you should should stick with uh, uh, some real Seymour Duncan blackouts. Um, I got some more of this stuff. Um, or maybe these pickups right here is very old. I bought these these ones maybe five or six years ago. These ones are actually made in America, designed by EMG. They are called Select and was stock pickups in a lot of guitars in the late 80s and the early 90s. This is actually great pickups, but it's a low output pickup. So you, I don't think you could play some heavy metal on these pickups, but it's a, it's a great blues pickup and rock and roll pickup. Uh, it's actually said they're made in America and this is some real select pickups. Uh, I don't think you can get these ones anymore, but I think they are cool. So yeah, so when it comes to when it comes to uh, tuners, yeah, tuners. I got some stuff here. I got some stuff going on here. Um, this is actually some Chinese. Um, I I believe this one was on a, a Les Paul or a Flying V or something. Uh, this is just some piece of crap. I keep these ones as a reference to show other customers, other people that don't buy this. Uh, I mean, they're, these ones are kind of hard to, you know, to work. It doesn't really work at all. It's, uh, you cannot tune the guitar with this kind of stuff here. I got six of them right here. This is just some piece of crap, okay? It's made in China. Uh, I got a handful of these Chinese uh, locking tuners right here. I, I don't know how many these is. I, I just take them out of the out of the box here in my. Uh, this is basic, This is not all of them. I, I have a lot more of them, but uh, this is actually uh, some Chinese locking tuners. Okay, this is just crap. I, I mean, the, the, you can't. I don't know why spending time making something that doesn't work. Uh, I mean, okay, maybe it's possible to tune the guitar. It stays in tune for like two seconds. Then you gotta tune it again. And um, this is just some piece of crap because it's actually, I mean, it's not decent anywhere. It's not even decent anywhere. I can take this one apart here and I will show you how it looks inside. Just some piece of crap right there. Okay. Uh, you can actually see this is not very good. This is not good at all. Uh, so this is what to expect when buying. Uh, I've seen you can buy these on eBay as well. Uh, I don't know how much they take for six of them. Maybe uh, something like 20 bucks or so. Uh, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't buy this shit. It's very simple to identify a Chinese uh, locking tuner because they all look like this. You can see there on the lockdown, uh, lockdown screw here. You can see that it's kind of like round circles. That's exactly what these Chinese locking tuners looks like. So you cannot go wrong. As soon as you see a locking tuner with these round stuff on there, this is made in China. So don't buy this. Stay away from this. This is crap. You're, you're going to get crazy. If you install this in your guitar and think it's going to be better than what was in there, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but 
this is going to make your hair very very gray in a short period of time I am not going to lie to you but there actually is a few of them that I have seen that it seems to be great not great but good or decent but I say 99% are just some piece of crap so I keep this as a reference as well just to you know this is just some piece of crap I think I have like 50 of those or something like that um, the first time I put my hands on one of these I think it was like um, maybe seven or uh, six or seven years ago uh, I think this maybe this one could be five or six years old I'm not really sure but some of them was decent some of them was actually decent maybe a guitar with a set of six in there maybe one was decent so I think maybe if I go through all of my Chinese locking tuners maybe I can get uh, six decent ones I maybe think so anyway this is just some piece of crap don't buy this stay away from this so when it comes to pick cards, okay, pick cards, pick cards, pick cards, pick cards, pick cards. Okay, I have a lot more pick cards than this, but this is actually some of the pick cards, okay. This is actually a Chinese made pick card, okay. If you have a Telecaster, don't expect this one to fit on your um on your telecaster because it will not it will be a huge gap right here it will not follow the contour of your guitar and um, the I, i'm actually made this uh, uh no i didn't made the i uh, a customer came to me with a telecaster he wanted to put in a humbucker in there so i said yeah sure i grabbed my my hand router and i i routed this one up and uh, anyhow he I showed him that hey man this doesn't really follow the contour of the guitar it looks like shit so he bought a new one so this is just some piece of crap uh, this one is actually a high quality pick card for a Stratocaster um, this pick card is very expensive to be a pick card. I think uh, I paid perhaps maybe somewhere around uh, I'm not really sure um, I'm not really sure but it was very expensive. This is why okay this is why this is a high quality product uh, so this I don't know why this one was in here but this is a high quality product here I got a Chinese made a Stratocaster a customer went to me and wanted to modify it he had actually uh, put a Floyd on his guitar and uh, he had to cut out a little bit here and he installed the, the Floyd rows in, in a wrong way so I had to do it all over and I also bought a pick card for Fender Stratocaster with a, a pickguard for a Floyd so I kept this as a reference to show people don't do it like this it looks like shit okay you cannot do it like this um, this pickguard is actually it's made in China as well and it doesn't really follow the contour of your Squire or Fender Stratocaster so it looks like shit it's very cheap yeah I know that but it doesn't really look good this is a Chinese pick card. Our customer come, came to me and said, Hey, I want to put this uh, uh, pick card on there. I said, Where did you get it? Uh, I'm not really sure. I bought it on, I think it was like AliExpress or something like that. And um, you can see it's not even flat, it, it's pointing in all different directions. And I said, no, I'm not going to put that one on your guitar. And he also wanted some EMG pickups. And I said, okay, so how the hell do you think that will go? How the hell do you think you get a, an EMG in there? It's not even possible. 
it doesn't fit in any hardware. You know, it's not possible. So I need to put a lot of time to rot these ones. It will be more expensive than buying a new one. So it doesn't really follow the contour of the guitar either. So the Chinese people over there, yes, they can make some great high quality products, but not guitars and not guitar parts. I don't know why. This is actually a Chinese uh, pickguard for a Telecaster, Fender or whatever. Looks like shit. It looks like shit. I didn't do anything to it, but take a look on that. Take a look on that. Looks like crap. Looks like shit. Take a look there, huh? <laughs> yeah, for sure it's handmade, but it looks like shit. This one, American made, is also handmade. It says, handcrafted in the USA. This is an awesome. This is a, a also handmade, but in China. So, this is the difference, huh? You cannot find anything wrong with this pick card right here. Not anything wrong. I can find hundred, hundreds of wrong stuff with this one. Uh, the screw holes is actually wrong. The screw holes is in a wrong place. This one right here is not right for the Telecaster. This one here is not right for a Telecaster. This hole here is not right for a Telecaster. Maybe for a fake EMG, but you can see a huge gap there. I mean, no, this doesn't really make any sense. This is not even right. You can see it right here. That's not right. I have an American made pickguard right here. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Take a look at that, huh? Take a look at that. Check this out. <laughs> Check this out. Do you see? Do you see it right here? Wow. Uh, so, yeah, this is American made. This is a high quality pickguard right there. This is just some piece of crap. Don't buy this. Don't. This is actually something I made self for myself. Not really Chinese. So that's that's about the pick cards. Something else that could be cool is actually these ones right here. This is something that is made in uh, in China and actually very good. This is something that's very good. I like this stuff right here very much this is some great stuff right here okay I tell you why first of all this is a control plate for a um, telecaster you can see it's no holes in there that's cool because you can choose uh, what type of controls you want in there and drill your holes by yourself or maybe you don't want any holes at all. Or maybe just a volume knob rail. Or maybe uh, some type of uh, mini switch, maybe. You can, it's okay, you can just drill a hole and put it in there. So this is actually a very good product. And it fits perfectly in an American made fit card. Take a look on that, huh? Take a look on that. It fits just perfect in there. So Chinese made control plate, American made pick guard, fits just perfect. Just perfect. So this is a great product right here. Uh, you take a, perhaps, 
Let's see, where did I put it? Right there. Take a look on this. Do you see the huge gap here at the the uh, the, the uh, edges? Uh, maybe the camera is not really picking up that, but you can see it, okay? This is not a great fit right there. This is not a great fit right there. So, this is great and cheap. I don't know how much I paid for these ones. I, I bought a bunch of them. I think 10 of these one and 10 of these one. Um, I actually put them in uh, guitars that I modded over the years. Um, customers that would like to have EMGs or you know anything that needs uh, these type of control plates so I can drill the holes for the stuff they want in there. I remember one customer uh, bought these little ball, I think uh, EMG81 TW and those are splittable with uh, single coils and humbuckers. So I actually put in two of those. One over there and one over there and only one volume knob over there. So it's possible to do whatever you want to do with this control place like right here. Great stuff, great stuff. Available in China and very cheap. I think I paid like Oh, I, I'm not really sure. 10 bucks. I think 10 bucks, bucks each or something like that. Uh, that's including shipping to America. Uh, so very, very, very cheap. So wh what, what, what have we uh, talked about? Uh, when it comes to the real stuff, you can actually see that if you buy a, a fake knockoff Les Paul from America, uh, there is uh, some uh, some ways to figure out that is not real when it comes to real electronic because this is actually a real Gibson uh, electronics right here. This is what it looks like in most uh, Gibsons today. Okay, it's not real puts anymore. You can see that it's actually some great electronics. This is exactly what it looks like. Uh, in the more, I, I, I'm really sure that the even the the Gibson uh, Studio comes with this one these days, uh, and I maybe the LPJ and that maybe these ones as well have this stuff right here, and it's all quick connectors. Okay, so if you take a, a this is a real. Gibson pickup right here. This is actually a lead pro screw north right there. This is a burst bucker pickup right here. You can see this is a fast connector. So this is some this is some serious stuff here and this is very expensive stuff right here. Very expensive. So you can even see on the uh, on the uh, the the jack right here also some quick connectors right there this is also from uh, Gibson Les Paul so that's some cool stuff and this is actually kind of cool because this has only been around for a couple of years now I think so yeah so that's kind of cool PCB yeah so that's actually that's actually all about this. Well, I can talk way more about this, but uh, I think I covered it all. I have a lot of more stuff. I have a lot of guitar parts. I mean, I have, I have so much guitar parts. So I have electronic components. I got some, some used stuff over here. Uh, in case, yes, I have customers that doesn't really have a lot of money, but they still need their guitar fixed. So, okay, I can use some used parts. So, all parts that I take off from a guitar that is in working condition, I keep. Because I get customers with not a lot of money, but still want their guitar repaired. So, all these 
stuff right here is in great working condition. So it said there, used puts and jacks. That's what it is. And uh, if the customer wants some new stuff, that's okay. That's okay. I have some new pots. I, well, some. I have a lot of them. Um, I have... I have jacks. I have a lot of stuff. Uh, when it comes to random stuff, I got I got a lot of random stuff right here, okay? I mean, I have uh, this kind of strap uh, holders. I've taken off uh, scrap guitars and, you know, people changing for strap locks. I always keep this stuff. Because I get customers with no money and still want their guitar repaired. So I can maybe use this. Uh, I got some other stuff in there. Well, I, I got a lot of stuff. Uh, I also got some uh, Floyd Rose parts. Uh, this is uh, some new parts and some used parts right there. Got some bushings. I got some other stuff. I got some tuning screws for Floyd Rose. I mean, this is some great stuff right there. Uh, I got some... This is some stuff that I got right here. Some bridge parts. Um, I got some Floyd nuts right here. All brand new. I got some bridge springs. A lot of them. Great to have. Uh, I got some knobs right here. Different models. Some metal, some plastic strat models right there. I uh, got some uh, Floyd saddles. Uh, this is actually, uh, I think these ones are used. Uh, people changing them for new ones. So I, there's nothing wrong with these ones. Um, you can actually go ahead and use them. I keep them as uh, spare parts. It's good, great to have. So this is all, uh, you know, neck screws, uh, random screws. Random screws. This is all guitar stuff. Great to have. Uh, this is all pickup springs. Pickup springs right here. Pickup springs. Uh, washers. Pickup washers. Uh, so I, I got a, I got a, a lot of stuff here going on. I, I got something in there as well, and I have a lot of more stuff. So. And um, this is this is some uh, you know this kind of stuff is electronic stuff for building uh, PCB stuff and that kind of stuff. So yeah, don't buy this. Don't buy this crap, man. You gotta understand that buying a guitar for three hundred bucks, you gotta spend at least three three hundred more bucks to get the guitar working. That's six hundred bucks. I mean for 600 you can at least get a Mexican Fender or something. You go ahead and stick to the real deal. Real EMGs. You got some Seymour Duncans. Uh, you got some uh, American made pick guards. This is what you need to stick to because this is some great stuff and most of the time it's needed. Okay. And uh, so yeah. So there you go. That's a... Uh, long video uh, speaking about Chinese part, uh, mostly Chinese part. I mean, um, I can go on and on and on about this. Um, there's actually, as I said, some Chinese guitars, Squire, etc. with actually some decent hardware on it, but most of the time, no. It's just some piece of crap. Um, I know there's a lot of people that is awesome playing guitars but they cannot repair the guitar they cannot change the bridge they cannot change tuners they don't know anything about the technical stuff that's when they come to me and ask can you do it yeah sure i can um, most chinese guitars needs major uh, upgrading major work i mean uh, you need you need working tool to level frets. You need uh, sanding beams. You need this kind of stuff. Uh, you need this kind of stuff right here. And 
it doesn't really matter if you have the stuff you gotta be able to do it as well so that's when they call me and of course I can do it it's not going to be cheap uh, so I know most of the guitars in China cost maybe about 300 bucks shipped overseas uh, including shipping maybe taxes will maybe be added on the price but um, I promise you you are looking at least 300 more bucks that's including new pickups uh, in most cases a new pick guard in most cases a new bridge even though you don't have to buy a super expensive bridge but I think you're looking about 30, 50, 30 40 bucks for a new bridge in better quality in the, than the, the ones that was on there uh, you are looking on tuners that's a must have I think you should go with uh, shawlers, um, go tools, uh, spare cells, whatever you are looking at at least 100 bucks so and the, the craftsmanship uh, you know the, the fret leveling I'd say about 150 bucks or so at least depending on depending on how much work it is and then all the work to swap all this stuff pickups, bridge, tuners uh, electronics you know all this kind of stuff it takes time so 600 bucks for a Chinese guitar with a Fender logo on it is it really worth it no it's not worth it no no there is no way in hell I will ever buy a Chinese knockoff guitar because it's wrong it's wrong okay um, you go ahead and spend your money on a real guitar it doesn't have to be expensive you can buy a used Fender for a couple of hundred bucks I mean it's so much more worth it yeah so that's about it and when it comes to Chinese strings no you cannot tune a guitar with Chinese strings you will break them immediately uh, this is what I buy I buy this is what I buy when I buy strings I use uh, um, GHS strings boomers this is what I use uh, I buy usually buy them in big packs like uh, tens, 10 uh, 10 sets in there or maybe 20 30 I, I, I bought as much as I think I bought 100 set at one point uh, when I used to do this for a living I actually bought them in a set of hundreds so this is actually what the package look like um, it comes in different types of uh, on my guitars I use 9s to 46 on all my guitars my customers seems to most of the time prefer 9s to 42 yeah so that's cool I have them all in stock so Chinese strings, I th I'd say there's nothing good about Chinese hardware and, and Chinese guitars. Nothing. There's nothing good about it. Uh, I am talking about the guitars with a Fender logo on it. Um, so, sorry for the long video. I've been thinking about this for the past year. Now I made it and uh, this is just to inform you guys about that piece of crap um, I think you're doing a lot more uh, better business with buying perhaps an Epiphone Explorer or something like that I have an Epiphone Explorer right there it's a gothic model uh, it's been around for the past 10 or 15 years I bought this guitar when they came out I think that's actually 15 years ago it was very expensive uh, compared to, to these days it's still one of the greatest guitars that I own it's one of the best guitars that I own and I think I bought it for like 300 bucks um, I think you can get it for like 200 or something like that today well I'm sorry I think I, I paid about 500 bucks yeah 500 I think you can get it for like 250 300 today this guitar right here
have real groover tuners and I, I know uh, even today they have. Um, the wood is actually mahogany the, in the body and the neck. It's a great guitar. It's a great guitar. It's a cheap guitar. It's a great guitar. Way over there, somewhere around there, I got a Squire Stratocaster. A standard model, uh, made in China. It's an awesome guitar. It's a great guitar, great deal. I paid only, let's see, 300 bucks for it. Yeah, 300 bucks. Great tuners, great pickups, uh, great, um, I didn't have to do a fret leveling. A great fret job on that one, great neck, everything is great about that guitar. It's a great guitar. So that's the type of guitars I think you should go ahead and buy. Don't stare blind, blind on the Fender logo on these Chinese guitars because it's just a piece of crap, piece of shit. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter what the headstock says as long as it's a great guitar, okay? It doesn't matter if it says Squire. It doesn't matter if it says Epiphone. I have a lot of Epiphones. I, I have uh, several Explorers. They are great guitars. Not very expensive. So go ahead and make sure what you what guitar you want to buy. And try to stay away from the knockoffs because it will only cause you some major problems. Uh, maybe you think it's cheap, but trust me, at the end of the day, no, it's not cheap. It's going to cost you maybe six, 600 bucks, maybe. In some cases, could be cheaper, but I'm really sure you're looking at a total cost of five or 600 bucks. It's not worth it. You can get a Mexican uh, Fender for that price. Maybe even a new one. I think they had a, a sell... Um, uh, maybe a year ago they sold Mexican Fender Stratocasters I think it was like 4 dollars or something like that ridiculous cheap so there you go a uh, long video a big rant about Chinese stuff um, I, I think actually you will thank me uh, if you buy your Chinese guitar and and watching this video uh, before you buy it and see for yourself it's crap it's crap anyway thanks for watching bye